Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Big John's Cooking. Today we're doing a stuffed pork loin. We got some uh, some kale, some mushrooms. We're gonna do some cream cheese, some onions, some garlic, and uh, we're gonna wrap it in some uh, croissant dough that we picked up at the grocery store. So hey, stay tuned, hang with me. Let's get this done. So basically, all I'm gonna do is clean this up here, take the silver skin off. Oh, this is gonna be. Real chewy. From there, I'm gonna try to open this up so we could uh, stuff it. So start here. See if we can open them up. Try not to cut through like I did right there. Alright, All right. we're going to take my crusty cast iron skillet, we're going to try to pound this out. Evenly as possible. I like that. Give this a good shake of my strawberry seasoning. It's a good seasoning. It's out of Hawkeye, Missouri, down by my hometown. All right, for our fillings, I got some uh, some mushrooms here. Some baby portobellos, got some onions, some garlic, um, and I'm going to add a little bit of this kale to it. I'm going to saute everything down, let it cool, and then add to our meat, roll it up, and go from there. Alright, got my onions in. We're going to let these go a few minutes to get the translucent. Then I'm going to Add my mushrooms, my garlic, and the kale. Saute all that down. Let it cool off and then add it to our meat. Right. Add in the mushrooms. It's a little bit more butter. Give this a stir. Let these mushrooms go for a while today uh soften up. So it'll turn turn golden brown. Pick a heat up. About medium. And let this go. Alright. Try that and then I kill. A little bit at a time. Big leaf. Bust that up a little bit.
let this go for a little while. Check back in on it. I'm going to hit this with just a little bit of apple cider vinegar. Just a smidge. Just to add some acid to it. And just a little bit of oil. A pinch of salt. Pepper. And uh, fresh garlic. And just a splash of water. And we're going to let that go for a minute or two. My time is up on that. Check that off. It's a quick stir. All the liquids cooked out of that. it to the back, let it cool off. Alright, got my cream cheese softened back here before it gets too far gone. I'm going to add that on to it. Alright, cream cheese. Give this a stir right quick. Mix this in. Make sure it's all combined. Let me finish that and I'll bring you back. Alright. Got everything mixed up well and I've let it sit for a minute. What we're going to do is see how many mistakes I made. with pounding out my meat I know I got one good hole in there I'm cutting so we're going to put that in there like that that in there like that maybe take some of that out there we go Bring that in. Bring that in. It's over. Bring that over. There we go. All right. There's one little hole to be concerned with. All right. Now what I'm gonna do? Season this on the top. I'm going to put this in the skillet, seam down just to seal it, a couple of minutes, turn it over, hit these other sides, just a hot second, then we're going to bring it out to let it rest. So let me get that done and I'll show you the, the finish before I start the next step. And I'll let it Added some uh, It's Incredible from uh, Heavenly Made Products on the outside. This is going to be yum. All right. I gave it a little brown then. This is that seal side. Kind of separating a little bit, but we're going to try to wrap this. We're going to let this cool off. Set. Move on to our pastry. So, once this is completely cool, we're gonna wrap it in some uh, some pastry dough. Stick it in the oven. Bake it another 20-30 minutes to golden brown, and hopefully we have a good product. So, uh, we see you on the next step. All right. We got some croissants in here. I'm hoping one pack will do me. But it may or may not. So let's find out. 
I'm gonna get these rolled out. See what we got, and I'll bring you back. All right, we got it all wrapped up. I sprayed it down with some pan spray. I'm gonna hit some uh, some seasoning on on the crust there. Uh, probably go with some of that. Uh, it's incredible. Uh, and then we're gonna pop them in the oven. We're gonna let it go for about 20 minutes. Check on it every once in a while. Make sure it's not burning. And uh, I'll let you know how it come out. All right. End product. Got a little separation on on top there from the croissants. Yeah. Thought I had that spot covered, but I guess I didn't. Let's cut into this bad boy. See what we got. spray I put on there you don't think it'd be doing any sticking but it looks good you can see that so give it a taste mm. not bad get a fork here that's hot take some of this filling Mm-hmm. Creamy. Liking the kale. Mm. Very nice. Well hey. That's pretty damn good. Sorry, I had to give me another bite. Mmm. The tenlo is juicy. It's very flavorful. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Tell a friend about me. And, uh, I'll see you on the next one. Alright YouTube, this is my nephew. This is little Samuel. Hot taste to you. Good stuff. Alright.